I'm out here in New Zealand on a beautiful day looking for gold underwater. I'm finding so much gold, it's actually falling out of my snuffer bottle. If you like gold sniping, you're not gonna wanna miss this video. La, 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 la. <laughs> So this location has a lot of gold here. I know this because the creek below it has a lot of gold. And I know for a fact, nobody has sniped this river, so I know today is gonna be a good day. And with that being said, our first few pieces of gold in no time at all. And for whatever reason, I'm having trouble sucking up the gold. All of the gold here is pretty flat. There's a lot of flakes, but they're nice flakes. I decided to look along the side edges where I thought the gold would be coming from. And after no time at all, I found that's where the gold was coming from and there was a lot of it. <laughs> There's so much fine gold on this claim, it's really hard to suck every piece up. Even though there is gold in front of me, as a gold sniper, your time is very important. And I know there's a lot more river to explore, so I'm only gonna suck up a bit more fine gold here, then I'm gonna go upstream to take my chances. Much gold. I decided to leave my camera off while I sucked up these tiny bits so I could save battery for when I go upstream. But I did notice this little pocket in the bedrock which I decided to leave my camera on for. I just found our first nugget of the day. Maybe not a nugget, but at Maybe least a... Maybe not a nugget, but a nice picker. Hey, that's what I was gonna say. It is so cool when you're fanning and the shine of the gold pops out. It's just one of those small things that makes sniping so addictive. I'm pretty convinced that nobody has been in the water here. Every crack I go to is packed full of clay and rocks and I'm finding gold everywhere. I thought I would spend just a few more minutes in this little area and suck up the gold I see before making my way upstream where I know it's gonna be better. Now before we go upstream, I noticed over 80% of you aren't subscribed to Pioneer Poly. If you like these videos, please hit subscribe and that bell notification so you don't miss a future upload. You can't touch the bottom. Ugh, scary. Here's Rex and Darren. Yeah, Mike. <laughs> How you guys doing? Yeah. A bit of color. Yeah. A little bit of color. Yeah. I'm finding a whole bunch of pockets down there. A lot of fine gold on this claim. I like it because there's a lot of it. They have the sluice going. It's a good sign that there could be water. One of the first spots I noticed up here was this packed crevice that looked perfect. Now we just gotta get inside of it to see what lays below. And after spending more time than I should have here, I turned my camera off to save battery, pulled all the rocks out, and found absolutely nothing. Time to move on. So I just went upstream a little bit and I found another nice pocket of pickers. It's so beautiful to see. So I would be lying if I said this wasn't the most flakes I've seen in one spot and we're only just getting started. I actually don't think I've ever seen that much flakes in one little pocket. This is actually pretty ridiculous to see as we just started this crevice and it continues down deeper. There's gotta be a lot more where this came from. Thank you. 
I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm definitely gonna try filming every single piece of gold, but if I continue to do this well, I'm gonna have to choose when to turn it on so my battery doesn't die, which is a very good problem to have. I literally have to turn my camera off to save the battery. It doesn't look like it's gonna last too long here. Now this is where the fun begins as a gold sniper, when you find a really good spot and then you start to work your way down the crevice. Sometimes the gold gets better or sometimes it gets worse. But in this case, it seems to continue, so let's continue. It's not often you spend more time sucking up gold than you do moving material. So if I have trouble holding the camera straight, that's why. After I suck up these pieces of gold, I'm gonna to move to the next crack over. But first, I just wanna show you how small of an area I work to get that kind of gold. Now, if this crack had that much gold in it, the one next to it has to be the same. Yep. <laughs> I moved to the crack next to it, and it's the same thing. It's always satisfying when the bedrock changes color after you remove a few rocks. And especially when you find the yellow rocks there. <laughs> if you want to learn how you can snipe for gold, I'll leave a video link that I made in the description below. I don't know if you saw that, but this is our first piece of wire gold of today's trip. I collect these pieces because they are rare and they look kind of cool. I'm not working very deep either, it's pretty shallow. I just found the biggest flake of the day. I'm gonna have to take the lid off. Okay, I don't mind this song, but I'm, I'm gonna change it. That'll do. It's important to keep your snuffer bottle nearby so you're not wasting time running around looking for it. The clay is good. Clay likes scratches, likes gold find you. This side crevice isn't holding as much gold as the other crevices, so let's go back. It gets really hard to see with all the clay smoke, fog smoke, and your face smoke, but it's always worth waiting because there seems to be gold everywhere, <laughs> everywhere you go in this stretch of river. I have to 
hold my breath to get these ones. <laughs> Because now I'm working in the current of the river, it's gonna be really <clears throat> sorry. It's gonna be very hard to stay down here and suck up these pieces. Another little pocket. Now because this pocket is a little bit deeper, I just have to keep holding my breath and going back down. Again, a good problem to have. I decided to stretch my legs and go a little bit upstream to a spot that looked kind of good. And right away I started finding more gold. Finding little pockets like this is always so exciting. You know somewhere along the river there's got to be ounces in one spot. I'm starting to get really tired. I'm going to do a little more and then I have to get back to at least get some food. I found another little crack but it's super dangerous where it's at. This spot was interesting. There are so much pieces of gold just crammed in this little crack, but unfortunately this spot was way too shallow to film, so I had to film from a further distance just to show you what I was dealing with. No room for error on our number 5 pocket. So once I got the gold that I was able to actually get out, I started to float my way downstream because I am getting tired. What's slowing me down from getting out and getting some food is finding gold consistently. I might have to keep doing this till I fall asleep. This is absolutely ridiculous how much little gold I'm finding here. It's definitely going to add up. <laughs> And just like that, another gold pocket. Please let me know in the comments if you've made it this far. I want to know if you guys like it when I make these videos a little longer. Also let me know if the music gets annoying because, <laughs> because it's sure bothering me. Ridiculous how much gold I'm finding. New music. I'm pretty much ready to go home, but it's really hard to leave when you're consistently finding gold. Plus, I found another gold pocket, so I'll be here all night. Because I'm ready to go now, I decided to work one spot that was in the middle of the river. Luckily it was still shallow enough for me to reach, and this spot was holding our first actual nugget of the day. But of course I'm not going to be able to pick it up with my snuffer, so turning off the camera to pick it up with my bare hands. There we go. Nice! Bloop. I am exhausted right now. I am so hungry, but it's really, really hard to stop because of how much gold you're finding. New Zealand is just blowing me away consistently. 
There was a couple more pieces of gold that I couldn't leave behind, so I'm gonna suck these guys up, then I'm gonna call it quits. For now. All right, that is it for me. I am exhausted. I was out there for, I don't know, I didn't even track the time. Knowing that half the gold I find today goes towards Rex and Darren for allowing me to play on their claim, I worked my butt off today and I'm really hoping it paid off. I was finding so much gold that it was even coming out of the snuffer bottle and my GoPro battery died, so this should be good. All right, they're over there and I'm over here. I don't want them to peek. This is actually gonna be really good. Oh, this is gonna be good. I might have found enough gold to compare with Levi. Holy Okay, you guys ready? Ready for this? Yeah, go this guy. Oh, no way! Oh, wow. Dude, <laughs> what a nice piece! Yeah! <laughs> oh, 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 that is amazing! Well, I can tell you off the bat, you've got a bigger piece of gold than us. It looks like a little boomerang. Really? It's yeah. like a boomerang. That was, that was a hard oh, one to get That's out. a good sign. That's that nice. Good. And that one is nice too. Yeah. Right. Yes, wow. sir. You guys have Holy a cow, great dude. place to play. So, Well, you know, you're very good at sniping and that makes a big difference to help find the gold. So there was mine. This is, <laughs> this is theirs, look at that. Holy cow. That is photo perfect right there. Woo! Okay, so we're going to, so we're going back to camp right now to weigh everything and see how we did doo doo dee dee. All right, back here at camp. I have the gold here all nice and dry. It looks a lot smaller when the water's not in there, but hey, still should be 12 pounds. Okay, Darren, what's your guess? Nine and a half. Nine and a half? Nine and a half, I reckon 8.7 mates. 8.7 mates? I'm gonna guess 10. Oh wow. Nice, 13.7. Wow. So half of this gold goes to Rex and Darren, and the other half goes in my pocket. So Darren and Rex are gonna weigh their gold. I'm gonna guess five grams. Oh no, I reckon they'd be at least 3.7, mate. Three point, what's with you in point sevens? Who are you? Oh, I think 5.7, mate. Seven. <laughs> 3.7, 5.7. I'm gonna yeah. say five flat. Five flat? 12 pounds. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my good, that's funny. But I'm pretty sure it was five flat. Hey, but when, once you knocked it, it went up. So it's five grams. That one is an illusion. So that means 18.7 grams for the day. Nice. Heck nice. yeah. Yeah. That was freaking awesome. Another awesome day, Paulie. Yeah, thanks for bringing me out. Dude, I. Uh, Fantastic to have you here. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. Also, check out Rex and Darren's YouTube channel, Abyss Dredging. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Until the next one, more videos for you to enjoy.